Hey guys, welcome back. to this episode 2 of Life is Strange. We're getting ready to go into the bathroom. Saving the best times for the next episode. Alright. Let's go. Empty. Good. Nobody can see my meltdown. Except for me. Now, who would bother to write that crap? Hmm. I feel like the universe is taunting me everywhere I go today. It all started with that bizarro dream in class. Am I going crazy? Just relax. Stop torturing yourself. You have a gift. Fuck it. Oh, no. When a door closes, a window opens. Or something like that. Okay, girl, you don't get a photo op like this every day. Ooh. Maybe that's really quick. I think so. I hate the Jerry Chase. Oh, Illuminati confirmed. This poster must drive people to have sex. Eight twerks for God. That's rude. Rude. I love that polo as well. It's cool, Nathan. Don't stress. You're okay, bro. Just count to three. Don't be scared. You own this school. If I wanted, I could blow it up. You're the boss. So what do you want? I hope you check the perimeter, as my step-ass would say. Now, let's talk business. I got nothing for you. Wrong. You got hella cash. That's my family, not me. Oh, boo-hoo, poor little rich kid. I know you've been pumping drugs and shit to kids around here. I bet your respectable family would help me out if I went to them. Man, I can see the headlines now. Leave them out of this bitch! I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Where'd you get that? What are you doing? Come on, put that thing down! Don't ever tell me what to do! I'm so sick of people trying to control me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! No! Shit, no! Whoa, whoa. What the fuck? How? How can that be? You're back in class. I was in the bathroom. He shot that poor girl. I held up my hand. And then I was back here. These pieces of time can frame us. I already heard this lecture. From light to shadow. From color. Now Kate is being hassled again. And if Victoria's phone rings, this is real. Now, Shit. can oh, you no. give me an example of a Man, photographer I cannot believe who this. captured the human condition in black and white? Okay, if I'm crazy, Anybody? I might as well go all the way. Bueller. Can I actually reverse time? There you go, Victoria. Why Arvis? Whoa, that's a cool superpower. I did now, it. I actually did it. A photographer who perfectly captured human the human time machine. Black and white. Anybody? Bueller? Max, don't freak out. Not yet. There you go, Victoria. Why Arvis? 
It's because of her selfie. images of hopeless faces. You feel like totally haunted when by I took my selfie, Jefferson asked me a question. She saw humanity. If he does again, I'll know this is for real. Kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max hmm. has a gift. I know I'm not dreaming course, this. You all know the it's real. Has been I can tell. The early 1800s. Your generation so I can go back in time. Selfie expression. What if that girl isn't dead yet? I couldn't resist. The point can I save her? Portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography. For I need to go to the bathroom quickly and check it out. Now, Max. Since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? Do you think we'll get it this time? I'm sorry, but I really have to use the bathroom. Nice try, Max. But you're not going to get away that easy. We can talk more after class. Is it. there anybody oh, here shit. who knows their stuff? Jefferson wants to keep me after class. And I need time to save that girl. A process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. What if I rewind the again process, and give him the right answer? Detail in people's faces, making them extremely popular from the 1800s on. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest... Skip that. This one. The Daguerrean process, invented by a French painter named Louis Daguerre around 1830. Somebody has been reading as well as posing. Nice work, Max. <sighs> the Daguerrean process made portraiture hugely popular, mainly because it gave the subjects clear defined features. You can learn more when you actually finish reading the assigned chapters. Max is so far way ahead of everyone. Oh, crap. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure, and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Max, you are not crazy. You are not dreaming. It's time to be an Everyday Hero. Let's get to that yes. bathroom. Victoria, you still have to do your homework. I see you, Max Caulfield. Don't even think about leaving here until we talk about your entry. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure I have one. Given your selfie output, I'm sure you must have about a thousand pics by now. It'll take a long time to find a good one. Max, don't wait too long. John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Oh. Go on now. Don't let me stop you. Ooh. Let's undo our previous action. Yes, Victoria, you still have to do your homework this week. Dad, she's Even trying to get out of homework now? Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes, excuse you. No, Victoria, excuse us. Ooh. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. Oh, look, we can throw a pickup line back I'm on, on top of it. I think John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Max, you're on fire today. <laughs> All the right answers. Good. Make sure you finish working on it by today. That's a little weird. I have faith in you. All right, let's go see if we can save Victory after all. I hope I have enough time to get to the bathroom. Please, please. I can't tell anybody. They'll think I'm crazy. I think we'll tell them again. Can I change this yet? Yo, Daniel. You remember that it's payday? <laughs> yeah, payday. I... Oop, I didn't want to do that. Forget Sorry, you owe us cash. I forgot for what? I'm for making kidding. sure nobody kicks your ass. Run, 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 Max, run. I hate that science class with those... Okay, Max, we trace every step. I washed my face. I shredded my photo. Then the butterfly flew in. 
And I took a photo. Leave them out of this bitch. I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Where'd you get that? What are you doing? Go Come on, put that thing down. Tell me what to do. Wowzer, it's happening this. again. They were trying to control me. You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody I need a hammer to break it open. Miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! No! Would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! I think we need to rewind a little bit further. Don't ever tell me what to do. I'm so sick of people trying to control me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! <laughs> Oh, no just way. in time. Did you see that? Oh, me again, man, that was like seconds. Another shitty day. That did not happen. This cannot be real. I just saw a girl get shot and then saved her. What the fuck is going on? Do not freak out. Freak out, Max. It's okay. Freak out. Hey, do you hear that fire alarm? That means you should be outside. I had to use the bathroom. Girls always use that excuse. Excuse for what? For whatever you're up to, your face is covered in guilt. The alarm tripped me out. Then trip on out of here, Missy. Or are you hiding something? Huh? Thank you, Mr. Madsen. The situation is under control. There's no emergency here. Leave Miss Caulfield alone and please turn off that alarm since that's your job. Oh, snap. Ah, oh, I keep hitting control, sorry. You look a little stressed out. Are you okay? I'm... I'm just a little worried about my future. Well, you're sweating pinballs. Is that all you're thinking about? You could always be up front with me, Max. Or have you done something wrong? Is that it? Well, Max, talk to me. Oh, should we report him or hide it? Um, let's see what he says. Maybe we can get him. I just saw Nathan Prescott waving a gun around in the girls' room. Nathan Prescott. You sure? Yes. He was in the bathroom talking to himself with a gun. I saw everything. He was babbling like crazy. Okay, slow down. Slow down. So now you saw this without him seeing you. I was hiding behind a stall. I have the right to be there. It's the girls' room. I know. I know. I just want to be completely clear what happened. Mr. Prescott happens to be from the town's most distinguished family. Oh, and boy. one of Blackwell's most honored students. So it's oh, hard for boy. me to see him brandishing a weapon in the girls' bathroom. So what happened next? Then... Then he left. I ran out here wondering what to do. Are you gonna bust him? This is a serious charge. I'll look into the matter personally. Thank you for bringing it to my attention. That's it? After what I told we'll you? We'll continue this discussion later in my office. Please go outside with the rest of your class now, Miss Caulfield. Uh -oh. Of course this academic drone won't do anything, since the Prescott family owns Blackwell now. Should I rewind and change my story? I think I'm gonna rewind. I don't think he's gonna do anything... ...with, um... ...that since he was saying that they're like the richest family in town. You look a little stressed out. Are you okay? Jesus. I just got sick in class. Um, female trouble. Except you're wandering around like a zombie. And do you think that's the first time a student has used that line on me? It's the truth. I felt dizzy in Mr. Jefferson's Just class. tell me what you're hiding. You can trust me. Oh, There's nothing to hide. I got sick. It happens, you know. 
There's that team too again. You know, I, I've heard enough. Don't think I don't know what goes on around here. You've only been here for three weeks and you're already causing conflict. Wow. I don't think your parents will approve when they find out. Now get outside with class. Please. This, guy, this guy's a jerk. No, he does not buy that at all. I may have just flushed my scholarship down the toilet. I don't want to wreck the scholarship. Yes, I could rewind and actually tell let's him go, the truth. Let's tell him the truth. We're going to tell him the truth. Come on. I don't care if they're rich as family and tell them they shouldn't get away with stuff like that. <laughs> you look a little stressed out. Right, skip. You're going to report? I just. I'm going to skip again. Alright, let's go. This action will have consequences. One of those missing person posters. Oh, let's go chat with some of our classmates, shall we? There's more of them. Posters over posters? Somebody really wants to find Rachel Amber. I would so be there if a Sasquatch actually did battle a Razorback. <laughs> GG, Max. GG. Oh, here's the science teacher. Hi, Miss Grant. Excuse me, Max. I know everybody loves being asked to sign a petition, but would you do Miss Grant a favor and hear me out? Sure. Sure, I always have time for you. What's the petition? David Madsen, our chief of security, wants to put surveillance cameras all around the campus. Halls, classrooms, gym, dorm rooms, mm -hmm. etc. Blackwell Academy should be a high school, not a high security penitentiary. David Madsen doesn't need another excuse to harass students here. Max, this isn't about personalities. This is about protecting civil rights and our school's legacy of oh, freedom. She's a hippie. Did you see that? Blackwell She's Academy nice. has a noble heritage. From the Native Americans who founded this land to the pioneers who shared it in peace, not fear and violence. The Native Americans? The tribes who were here first, who welcomed the settlers. Both cultures found a mutual symbiosis and thrive. Now, before I assign you homework with this lecture, will you please sign the petition to keep our campus from going back to 1984? Pretty sure I don't want cameras in my dorm room. Let's go ahead and sign it. Absolutely. I don't mind security, but not pure surveillance. I knew you were my favorite new student at Blackwell <laughs> for a good reason. I'm a favorite new student. Oh, this one will have consequences, too. Yeah, text message. Hello? Sorry, running late and seeing Dave. I'll meet you in the lot. Okay, cool. Camera will be ready. Alright, right, this Jumanji is here to see about what happened. Nathan. Oh, that's a nice try. Principal, he's a jerk. This jerk, oh, Confederate flag, nice. And Nathan, money's money's money. And drugs. Okay, money's I better get to my dorm and grab that flash drive. Let's go ahead and finish. Just chatting on me. Like this person. Oh, no, just chilling. This is very pretty. Very fancy. Oh, it's Daniel. What's up, Daniel? Oh, hi, Max. Could I, um, ask you a question? Would you mind letting me skip? Oops, sorry about that. I don't know how to spoof you. Thank you. I do put my sketches on Facebook, though. Okay, he wants to sketch us. 
Sure. I'd be honored, Daniel. Makes me feel like a muse. Funny you should say that. I was just thinking about my real muse. Rachel Amber. Oh, that's weird. You knew her? You knew her? No, but once she asked me to draw her portrait. Oh, she was a natural. Perhaps. So what happened to her? There's gotta be a story. She just stopped coming to class. Some people said she ran away. Some say she jumped off a cliff. I just hope she's okay. Hard to avoid her posters all over campus. Kills me to see her sweet face used as a crime photo. Ah, she had a good heart. And if she had a good heart, that means she was probably nice to him. Okay, why don't you start drawing me? Even though I must be a step down from Rachel. No way, you're a good substitute muse. That's a good posture. He's kind of creepy. But... Good. Good. Best portrait ever. More consequences. What? Because they let him draw a picture? Okay. Ooh, skater boys. Max likes skater boys. Let's go talk to them. Interesting. Yeah, okay. Yo, Justin. Check out the Max. Come to Thrash? Uh, I don't know what that means. Thrash? You mean stage diving or? You're such a poser. Oh. If you can't even name a simple nose slide or a tray flip, you should walk on. What a jerk. Rewind. Watch me with my knowledge of skating. Yo, Justin. Check out the max. Come to thrash? I came to nose slide. But I'd love to see somebody do a tree flip. Wow, this oh, is really dangerous. You're not a poser. Nah, I just can't skate worth shit. Aw, oh, check it. We're gonna destroy some rails for you. What do you want to see? Oh, uh, we want to see a nose slide. I'd love to see a nose slide. Let's get Trevor all over that action. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Cool, Trevor. Hey, you're not really a skate Betty. I used to be, but I'm into my camera now. I can tell. We need more girls out here. Rachel Amber and her punk friend used to skate with us. Oh, they used to skate together? Punk friend? Who was Rachel's punk friend? I can't remember her name. She was hot. Tats, blue hair, hardcore. She stopped hanging out with us after Rachel disappeared. <laughs> Ran away. Aww. You knew Rachel? She used to chill with us sometimes. One day she just vanished. Hmm. I hope she's living the dream somewhere. If anybody hurt her, we'll get a skate posse and take them out with a board. Oh, tough. Do you ever hang out with Victoria? Fuck that. I'd rather rollerblade than hang out with snobs like her. Cool. Don't hang out with snobs like her. Let's chill later, Justin. Anytime you want to take some action shots, we're here for you, Max. Cool. Whoa. Why is she so small? What is this person just sitting on the ground over here? What happened? Oh, that's Hayden. That's the one guy she said was in a tree. Hey, Hayden. <laughs> there she is. The retro selfie master. That's me, all right. You look relaxed as usual, Hayden. It's a skill one cultivates at Blackwell. Especially when one represents the Vortex Club. 
Not to boast. Not to boast. Vortex Club. What the hell is the Vortex Club anyway? It seems so elitist. Only if you're not cool enough to get in. And it doesn't hurt your resume. If you say so. I do. But you should actually come hang with us one night. Then you wouldn't be so inclined to gossip. Gossip? Why would I want to hang with them? You mean hang with the Vortex Club? That sounds like a setup to a horrible prank. Chillax, paranoia girl. We're not that desperate for fun. We know how to do that on our own. It seems weird to think about partying with all those Rachel Amber posters up. You're high. Rachel used to hang out with us too. She was a blast. Smart, not bitchy like, you know. Not bitchy like who, Rachel? So you knew Rachel Amber? I knew she liked to party. <laughs> On to be around. Oh yeah, and she was hot. Wow, she was hot. Rachel was actually a member of the Vortex Club? No. Rachel was like her own club. She was actually too cool for us. And I'll deny I ever said that. Mm. Did Victoria like Rachel? She seems like the jealous type. Don't think you know Victoria so well. She respected Rachel, even if she didn't act like it. Damn. What do you think happened to her? Um, uh, whatever happens to people who disappear without a trace. Hmm. Do you really want Nathan Prescott to represent? Oh, please. Nathan is like everybody's voodoo doll. Kill the rich kid. He's all right and a fun guy to hang with. Fuck the haters. F the haters. He seems genuinely unstable to me. Nate has his extreme moments, but don't we all? I don't know yet, Hayden. Hmm. Let's talk later. Let's talk later, Hayden. Bye, Max. No. I have to get my chemical on and study. We should get you and Dana out one night. We should go hang out with the Vortex Club, apparently, because that doesn't sound fun. Brooke, oh, so you're a science girl. Hi, Brooke. Let me guess. You want to fly my drone? Ooh, a drone. Yes. I'd love to. I love planes and balloons and... <laughs> this is neither. Do you know what a drone really is? A weapon, right? Uh, you read too many conspiracy sites. This might be too complicated for you. Oh! Honey, Warren said you were smart. Please, step back. That was totally rude. What a complicated name for such a tiny drone. Ooh, now we know the name of the drone. <coughs> Let's rewind. And ask if we can fly it again. Hi, Brooke. Let me guess. You want to fly my drone? I like her hair. It's cool. That looks like a high fly drone. Model B400 EVO. Now, that's a nice piece of tech. You're full of surprises. Why would you know that? I love aerial photography. Drones are perfect for that. Especially those with great range. It's a new era of images. Most impressive, Max. Warren said you were multifaceted. Here, give the drone a whirl around campus. Well, Warren talks about us a lot. Whoa. I don't think I can move it. Nope. Just let me take a lap or two. Is there anything to see? This is going to make me motion sick, though. See, look how pretty that keeps us. Whoa, jeez. She's a pretty good flyer. Never flying one before. And nobody notices this thing flying around here. Let's go find the door on the ground. 
this is really cool. I'm not sure if I did that right. That looks like a burn building. Oh. Oh, oh. Where's my check? Oh, the broken skateboard. This is a great image. All those rippling green coins. Make I wish. hope everybody got their wish. This day has been so insane. Everything is happening too fast. And none of it makes any sense. These visions, this power. I keep expecting to wake up one more time. But if this is a dream, then I'm not asleep. Which means somehow I did rewind time. So there has to be a reason. And I have to find out why. Okay, and with this little recap of the day, we are going to end the episode. Um, we'll go find our dorm and find Warren's flash drive uh, when we come back next time. See you guys later. Bye!